anti-spell fragrance, skill drain, vanity's emptiness. Y'all bitches need to go. What's up, you guys? I'm here with a new video today, and I'm here to bring you guys another episode of Crazy Car Chat, where I say whatever I feel in the world of Yu-Gi-Oh! needs to be discussed. I just say it. I don't care what the topic is. So, we're here to talk about this, something that I know a lot of players have wanted to say for a long time. They need to ban the fuck out of every floodgate in Yu-Gi-Oh! Now, why is that? Floodgates basically say, you can't play Yu-Gi-Oh! And what are we all here to do? Here to do. We are here to play Yu-Gi-Oh! Do I feel that that is actually a really good decision if they were to ban every Floodgate? Probably not. I like Floodgates. I like Anti-Spell Fragrance. I like Vanity's Emptiness. Do I feel that they are very unfair cards? It depends on the situation. I feel that Anti-Spell Fragrance is very, very good because it shuts off the Pendulum mechanic. Do I feel it's unfair for Pendulum players? Yeah. I don't really like pendulums, but I love when I flip anti-spell against them. Vanity's Emptiness is basically like, well, I make my board, I flip Vanity's Emptiness, you can't play. I did my play, you can't do yours. Do I feel that banning every floodgate would be good for the game? Hard to say. I kind of wonder what it would be like to play in a format where there's no floodgates. You're free to do whatever you want. I feel it would also be a haphazard because you're free to do whatever you want. So decks that can spam a bunch of monsters every turn with no Vanity's Emptiness, pretty scary. Pendulums being able to play without ever having to worry about anti-spell, pretty scary. Do I think it could happen? Maybe. I mean, if they really wanted to, but I don't really see the point. But, like I'm saying, ban every floodgate. What would happen to Yu-Gi-Oh? I want you guys to duke it out in the comments. That's what these videos are for. These are very short videos. Duke it out in the comments. Should Konami ban every floodgate? And if so, why? I know there's going to be some wise motherfuckers in the comments that will be like, Oh no, you can't play every ban every floodgate. I won't be able to play my floodgate.deck. If without floodgates, we won't be able to stop the most problematic card. I agree with you. I agree with you 100%. If we don't have floodgates, we can't, you know, go against some of the craziest strategies. But at the same time, what if our game had no floodgates and we were free to play as we want? Think about that, you guys. I'm just saying. Think about that for a minute. It'd be crazy. So anyways, duke it out in the comments. Should Konami ban every floodgate in Yu-Gi-Oh? And if so, why? And if not, tell me why. I want a couple reasons why you feel floodgates are good for the game. Do you think floodgates are healthy for the game? I don't think healthy is the right word. I think that they are, what's the word? Um, they're just na a natural evil that you need to play them. You have to play them in order to play Yu-Gi-Oh! these days. You, bre you set up a board turn one, you tell your opponent to go. That's how these things go. Anyways, duke it out in the comments. Should they ban every floodgate in Yu-Gi-Oh! And if so, why? I don't think they should. There are certain floodgates I like, certain floodgates I can't stand. But would I definitely, would I play in a format where floodgates are banned? Yes. Because I fucking love this game and I would play in any format. So yeah. Anyways, hope you guys like this video. I know it's short, just really quick. I want you guys to duke it out in the comments. It's the point of these videos. We get a real discussion going. Should Konami ban every floodgate? And if they if they did, what would happen to our game? Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up. Duke it out in the comments. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.